Welcome everybody to Brissington Club 100. This is the sprint round uh, in the Club 100 Lightweight Championship. And, you know, it's a very rare time that I actually record all my races. And I did fairly well this day as well, so I thought, why not make a video about it? And even better, you can watch it with me. Yeah, we've got a little face cam thing going on. Maybe if you're watching it on your own, uh, you can, this feels like you're watching it with someone. Who knows? Anyway, we've got a little warm up then before our first heat. This is a good opportunity to kind of talk about the track. And uh, this track is in the middle of completely nowhere. Um, but I absolutely love it. I think the track's great. I think it's pretty raceable on. Um, it's very fast, very flowing. The, the track's in good condition, well looked after. Uh, the curbs are pretty big, so we're not really touching any of the curbs. Um, it is a bit of a tyre killer, at least it's seen that way. Um, i.e. you know we raced on both the Saturday and the Sunday and the new tyres um, very quickly fell apart and felt very different as the race progressed uh, on the Saturday but this is obviously the Sunday sprint round and we're starting 14th for our first heat here but obviously this is a little opportunity especially for those who haven't done the track before which is basically everyone to give it a go uh, learn the direction um, so that you're somewhat ready for the first heat and uh, it was quite a warm day this day. It was like 20 mid 20s at least with the sun out as well. So it feels a little bit more. Um, we've got the dog leg section here, the notorious dog leg section, which is very very tight and um, by far the biggest breaking zone on the circuit. Um, there's quite actually quite a few areas on the circuit where you do need to slow down, uh, which makes it pretty raceable. You can see how wide the circuit is here. So. Um, it's not like it was too difficult to race on, it was, it was a really fun circuit. And on that note, we're going to jump straight into heat number one. So as I say, we're starting 14th position. Uh, starting behind Hicklin here. Uh, you can see one of our rivals, Ed Bars, on starting on the right-hand side. And this driver in front of us gets a, a really poor start. You can see we're miles away from everyone in front of us, so we've already lost a bit of time. Uh, so it's not been a great start. But we're going to trick, uh, quickly try and make work of this driver here. I'm going to go up the inside on this first left-hander and he's still to my right-hand side, we've not got the move done um, and you can see everyone else in front of us racing away um, we we're able to get a little undercut here and maybe start thinking about getting some other drivers into the dog leg section which is obviously you know, quite interesting to see how it will go for the first time everyone being a little bit cautious but from one driver who lost it under braking there uh, but we're going to try and, so you can see we're alongside one driver we're now alongside Alfie as well uh, and we've been able to get them, so it's been a really decent start uh, for our 14th place. And to be honest, I was quite pleased to have my lowest position um, at the start out of all the three heats in the first heat because this is when everyone's still trying to learn the track and learn how to race on it, that sort of thing. Um, but you can see we've got a massive group still in front of us here, so plenty of opportunity to get uh, more positions. But you can already see the top two starting to get away here. Um, and I'm always kind of looking in the distance, seeing you know what sort of opportunities do we have. And uh, we're going to go into the dog leg section a second time now. And uh, side by side in front of us, Lewis trying to keep it around the outside. Can we do anything about it? Not really. And uh, we are getting dropped a little bit out of these corners, but it's not a massive deal in the first heat because again we can kind of drive around it, uh, just make the most of what we have. And uh, again, yeah, it was a pretty raceable car. And uh, we're going to make a good opportunity here into the last corner. Um, naturally, drivers like to come out wide, especially when they're trying to set up a move on someone. And we were able just to pinch Lewis there. Um, and this driver in front of us actually waving their arms around. I'm not too sure why. And uh, a bit of contact in front as well. So we're starting to kind of trip over each other a little bit. And we really just don't want that, to be honest. We just want to kind of get on with it. And... Uh, see if we can get another position in this dog leg. But this driver all over the shot, defending. I think it's Rana that's who's in front of us at the moment here. And we've still got Lewis to our left, so he's still right behind us. And uh, he's still throwing his arms around as this driver. And uh, trying to make a move here. Uh, not quite working, just trying to be, you know, be, be a bit clever. And still defending going into the last corner, which actually helps us a lot here because it means we get a good run out of this last corner and we're able to pinch him uh, the same way we did with Lewis. Uh, obviously it's not a wet round so you know to get moves done around here you have to be pretty 
um, committed. And now we can kind of focus on this group of three in front of us here. Obviously, Ed Bars has been able to get away from this pack already as he char tries to charge towards first and second. But yeah, we've got a bit of work to do here, really, to see if we can get these all important positions. Um, we really need three good places if we want to be starting high up in the A final, which is how it is. You need to have consistent results across the board. If you don't, uh, you're going to be middle of the A, bottom of the A. Uh, that sort of thing really so uh, but it is side by side in front of us and Mortals is on the grass We're gonna see if we can get two drivers here into the second to last corner Not quite able to get it done because Mortals keeps it around the outside and the other driver appears on the left of us here And we're gonna we're gonna push Mortals here try and give him some confidence And uh, he keeps his nose in this driver slightly sideways and yellow flag you See that in the corner of the screen. We're gonna watch it again here yellow flag So I I backed out of it. I wasn't quite in front Um and it seems that this marshal here has waved their yellow at, uh, well, reacting to this other driver. Well, I'm not going to call it a half spin. It was more like a third spin. So, uh, But that's quite an important moment there because we were going to get two drivers, uh, maybe just one of them. But now we've got none of them. So now we're going to be, now we're a bit further back in, in terms of where we should be. We were able to uh, get more tires into the dog leg there. Um, and now we're miles away. So suddenly, you know, we were looking at being in fifth. Now we're only just going to sixth and we're a lot further behind than we would have liked. You know, it's only seven minute heats. You don't have a lot of time to play with as it is. And now we're kind of looking at best case scenario being fifth place. We've kind of moved it on a little bit here. We're a little bit closer to the drive in front of us. It's not been, we've not caught them at lightning pace, but we've definitely catching, definitely reeling them in. And right now, top two's gone. Ed Bars is gone. It's not a lot of time. Maybe even fourth place is gone. Uh, but fifth place at the moment, right in front of us here. So we're going to try and uh, see if we can get this driver where it kind of widens quite a bit. But no one's home, unfortunately. No real opportunity. Could, uh, can we try in the last corner? We could, but we're not going to. We're just a little bit too far back. We missed the apex at the same time. Nice from Dante. And. Yeah, I didn't quite see how long was left on the board there, but not long left at all. I'm going to fly through this right hand here. I'm going to get through, actually, on this left hand. So, quite a favourable place to overtake there. Really, really um, like that area to overtake. Because of the way that everyone kind of comes out wide and then turns in. So, you've got a decent opportunity. And also the dogleg being another opportunity. And uh, all eyes now on this driver in front of us. We've really got no time at all now. And uh, this driver looks behind and sees, yep, got a massive gap. Don't have to worry about anything. And he doesn't really. There's not really any time left. Maybe like a minute and a half, less than that. We might be even be going into the last lap now. Um, yeah, I really like this track, to be honest. Um, flows really well. Um, a little bit cart dependent, of course. I mean, that goes with nearly all the tracks, though. Uh, but it is last lap. We really haven't got much time left. We see the driving front's gone a little bit wide. We're going to see how close we can get. Uh, but, you know, the gap's like a second already. So, <laughs> not really any time whatsoever. We're kind of looking at a bit further ahead. Ed hasn't been able to catch the top two either. So, it's going to be third place for Ed in starting seventh. We're obviously up to fifth from four teams. So, we've had a great race. Um, started off pretty strongly and we obviously look to take it. Uh, well, do the same for the next two heats, and we do start fifth and sixth for the next two heats. Obviously, the three random grids, it should be, it should all be fairly equal across the board. Everyone should have the same average position if you add them all up. Um, the check flag is out, and that's fifth place for heat number one, so quite pleased with that. Definitely could have been more. Uh, you know, we got held up a little bit at the start. We got a little bit held up with a yellow flag as well, which was a fake yellow flag, let's be honest. Um, but, you know, the marshals are not the same team as the Club 100 team. So that's just kind of something you have to take on the chin there. Whether anyone would have spotted it, who knows, but I'm not going to risk any penalties. I don't think it's worth it. Anyway, we started fifth place for this one. Uh, very quickly into third place, obviously the advantage of starting on the right-hand side, um, especially as kind of the pole and can decide where to go, pretty much. Uh, but we get a good run here, and we could have kept our nose stuck in there, but we, we didn't want to risk going on the grass and, and causing a scene. 
as uh, Wilkins goes quite deep into the first part of the dog leg and uh, driving front get, gets a decent cutback and we're going to follow through with this cutback as well and up into second so fifth into second place on the first lap good start definitely and all eyes on this drive in front of us now and see where we can get this driver uh, as we fly around the last corner here ready to start lap number two uh, obviously in this moment I'm feeling pretty confident you know I feel uh, believe in my ability to get past this driver we're going to do this at one of our favorite overtaking spots into the first hairpin and now we're going to just kind of work together and get away uh, from this point onwards and uh, we have got a yellow flag out here though so we are going to lift off we're not going to take the mick we don't want to risk a penalty it's no point it's pointless um, no one can overtake through the section anyway so uh, but we've got that done we're through there we're up into first and that was pretty much it for the heat. We managed to make a gap of three and a bit seconds and uh, a nice heat win for heat number two. And we move very swiftly onto heat number three where we start in sixth, so a little bit more difficult. Now we're on the left-hand side. Um, we've got Harrison Kirkham, another rival, C1 rival on the right-hand side, starting third, so there it's, he's starting in a really good place. And uh, down to seventh already with this driver on the right-hand side, but we're gonna stick it around the outside try and take back our sixth place which we do but we get loaded into and this results in us going in the driver in front as well um, it's not quite the way we wanted to start so you know we're sixth at the moment we haven't gained anything we haven't lost anything um, but we are keen to get a lot of our overtakes done the best opportunities to to have a good race is to get a lot of the work done on the first lap uh, but right now we're still sitting in exactly where we were before and you can see we've been left a little bit out of this right hander here so, uh, yeah, cart struggling a little bit coming out of rights, but the overall power of it was fine. So as long as we had a, a good exit or did our best out of right-handers, we, we could definitely fight. And after the first lap, we were still bumper to bumper going across the line, but it is Harrison leading the way. So, you know, starting sixth place, you want to be, well, for me, I'm thinking, yes, we should be looking to get a heat win here. Um, but obviously Harrison in a, a little bit of a better position and already in the lead as well so he can kind of focus on his race uh, we have been able to get up to fifth place here with decent movement on our on our favorite spot and we're now behind hussein and, and danny so breaking into dog leg again nothing too crazy side by side we're going to try and follow through here make a little bit of contact didn't quite expect that driver to slow down as much as he did and um, obviously he is turning pretty hard there uh, but we get hussein so we're up into fourth and now we're keen to get third place pretty quickly we're going to have a look on the last seconds last corner and uh, no contact made with the driver understeers off the track bless him um <laughs> probably didn't realize how little grip there would be out there but yeah no contact at all we're up into third place and there's a little gap now to harrison run ahead i'm thinking you know we could try we could, we could catch him uh and i can see that you know they're side by side here i think there's a chance there is a chance that we could actually catch up to them here if they carry on battling the way they are obviously harrison is signaling to him let's go forward go forward and I'm keen for them to go backwards here because I could really do with another heat win. That would be really good for the, uh, not for just the championship, but for the day. Just so you kind of get a good spot for the final. And yeah, gap's still fairly big, but we, we are keen to try and catch up as quick as we can. Um, who did we just overtake? We overtook someone, but we are slowly getting away from them. And it is crunch time now, heat free, everyone kind of knows what they need to do in, in order to get a good spot in their final you know everyone's quite familiar with the track everyone knows it's the last opportunity to kind of get a good spot which boosts you up a little bit higher we have gained a little bit here on this lap um so we just kind of need to continue this progress i mean it's a seven minute heat it's it's going to be around eight or so laps nine laps and uh yeah our strongest section definitely the dog leg here and this may have been our fastest lap as well on this lap. I think as more laps happen, the tyres get really, really hot, they become more understeery, and you're not really going to set your best times towards the end unless you've been stuck in traffic. And uh, both drivers ahead ending up on, on the kerbs, especially Rana there on hitting the left kerb. And these kerbs are just not really, not really usable. They're just a little bit too high, a little bit like Shennington's kerbs. You don't really want to be touching them. Uh, you're not going to gain anything. 
the only curb which is semi-usable is the is the first corner uh, but it's a flat out right hander anyway it's not like you're going to gain much uh, but we're catching up to Rana here he's checking behind doesn't want to lose the position and uh, we opened the corner up pretty well here that we were able to kind of spring out the second part of the dog leg pretty well uh, but not really closing him in when we want to so still st stuck behind but we, we, I mean we need to get past pretty soon if you want to have an opportunity at the race win here and with every corner that we don't get second place is a, an opportunity for Harrison to get away and uh, you know two heat wins in a fifth place would, would definitely put me pole position so it's desirable and uh, we do gain a little bit of time on this drive here but still not nothing we can really do we get a little bit interested into this hairpin but again nothing we can really do we can't wash him out wide I don't want to overshoot the corner I don't want to lose too much time uh, to Harrison ahead because that's kind of what we're thinking of at the moment I don't want to be doing do or die moves for, for second place here or risk any penalties or anything like that so we're still stuck behind and you know you can see now Harrison's really starting to get away and at this point I'm thinking right we're a bit stuck what can we do we don't have any pressure from behind in this moment um, but we just need to drive well and expose an opportunity somewhere and really uh, actually there was a little bit of uh, pressure from behind but the bigger pressure was losing Harrison ahead um, and you can see Harrison's really jacking it into the corners scrubbing a lot of speed on the entry uh, it's kind of his style he likes to shift the whole car in like that but we were able to get alongside and undercut here and right in this moment <laughs> we run alongside a, a point to Harrison and think look we can either waste time going side by side through the dog leg and have the others catch up and lose time to Harrison or we can just go for a single file and try and catch Harrison and yeah that's exactly what we did Rana just tucked in behind me here and we're gonna pull ourselves back up to Harrison hopefully and I know uh, Rana's got pace because he was able to catch up to Harrison himself and give him a little bit of a hard time uh, so now it's all all eyes ahead on Harrison but not a lot of time to play with I think we're, we're looking at two laps or something like that um, but we're just gonna you know try and drive good laps we catch up a little bit on these turns two and three and uh, Harrison constantly checking behind uh, monitoring the gap so you can see when he needs to defend not need to defend because obviously the, the less you defend uh, the faster you are and the less likely you know you're going to lose time really and uh, but we, we're really strong through the dog leg here you know good on the brakes opening up the corner last second is exactly what you want to do for for that area and we have started to catch Harrison down fairly decently but you know we're only going to have a lap here to really give it a go and that's not really enough time especially for someone who, uh, like Harrison who you know he's got his head screwed on pretty well uh, as you can see again here the the scrubbing into the corner the way he shifts his weight into the corner and we don't really have a good corner either you know we really need to nail these right handers if we're going to get a good exit but we're just constantly washing wide and away Harrison goes really and it's just too little too late unfortunately from the looks of it again we, we can do our best trying to catch up we we're actually getting a little bit interested to see if we could try something into the second part of the dog leg there but it was never going to work we didn't have the um, pressure from Rana behind either uh, he dropped back he must have made an error or something but uh, yeah it's just the way it goes really it just didn't quite work out uh, but we managed to get second I mean we were seventh after the first corner so it's not a bad race first second fifth and that was enough to put us P2 in the final the, the Pullman right in front of us here Miles Reitman or is he gonna yep here we go Miles Reitman he had a great day, first, second, fifth as well. He had a fast lap, three hundredths quicker than mine. So gets the uh, prime spot. But I wasn't displeased at all with second place. You know, I, I fully believed in, you know, the opportunity to be able to do some things here there. Um, especially with, you know, okay, right hand side's better to start, but at least with Rissington it's it's flat out for these first two sections and then you've got a left hander where you actually have to slow down where you could have the advantage. So you know, if you get the right start, it is possible to keep that second place, which not a lot of people were really able to do, but, you know, it's, it's possible. This is obviously the warm-up, the three-lap warm-up for the A-final, only the A-final gets it, um, just so that you can 
kind of test your car obviously this is right at the end of the weekend now the carts have been used a lot in this moment so you kind of you know make sure your carts all right um, kind of good to kind of follow people in this moment uh, see see what your carts saying but uh, I, I you know I did let Harrison through and obviously cold tires for Harrison but we kind of came to the conclusion that the cart was okay it was okay it was usable um, so we crack straight on with it and we are starting second here miles right alongside with us and right in this moment we're trying to nail when we're going to go you know miles is in control a bit so we've been able to nail it really really well i think we crossed the line with i don't know what the gap was, it was a couple of hundreds the difference when we crossed the line so we've really been able to nail it but harrison's very keen to get the second place um so he tries to wash out wash us out there on the on the right hander we try to wash him out on the left hander Obviously, space given all the time, um, but now all eyes on Miles. We've been able to keep our second place, and uh, going into the dog leg for the first time. He breaks it a lot earlier than I expect, so we're forced into a move here. Um, but we get it done, and uh, now I'm just hoping, right? Please work together. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because again, I have confidence in being able to drive a track, even though it is the first time we've been around the circuit. Felt pretty dialed in pretty quickly. Um, not a hard track to learn, just a few awkward corners, you know, the dog leg, the second to last corner we just did there. Uh, otherwise everywhere it's just kind of flat out, keeping your momentum, smooth steering. It was, uh, you know, trying to get over the, uh, the understeer, which obviously you can do. Trying to get over the understeer here as well, which you can do. Um, and just using the brakes as well when, when we can uh, to help turn in for the corners. But now it's all kind of full steam ahead here. And we do sit in the lead for quite a while, um, without trying to give anything away. <laughs> uh, but we do get to sit in the lead for a while. We're uh, very grateful to be near the front as well. Usually the mid-packing can get quite messy. You can get detached from the main pack quite quickly. So starting at the front, you do get a bit more of an advantage there, as long as you don't get swallowed by the pack early on. And uh, we're just looking to do perfect laps here, you know, really clean. You know, that was clean there. Uh, not trying to bother the curbs too much because they're not really useful and we're, we're going to move on a little bit here to I think uh, two and a half minutes remaining three minutes remaining so we've been able to lead for about eight or nine minutes now and you know we're feeling confident but I, and I did have a small gap but Harrison was catching down on us and you know I'm, I know that I was driving really good laps and if Harrison's catching us then you know as much as Harrison is very very fast He's, he's going to have an, an advantage on us somewhere, whether that's out of the corner. So uh, it was inevitable to me that he was going to get by eventually. Obviously, we're kind of working a little bit throughout the race to not let Axel catch up. Um, but going into this dog leg here, I trail break a little bit too hard and lost a bit of momentum. You could have seen the camera just suddenly swing in a little bit there and we lose the lead. Harrison comes alongside. I could have easily just come on, swiped across Harrison there, you know, big contact turning in on him but I'm not that sort of driver it's not really the way I like to race um, I know a lot of people who like to just turn in really hard on other drivers to defend their position but it's just not the way you want to race um, not you know, the halfway point of the season anyway uh, but now we are behind Harrison and in this moment I'm thinking right okay well he, he was able to catch up to us and I thought I was doing pretty well so we're gonna have a hard time keeping up I think and coming out of this corner, he leaves me a little bit, and there's just enough of a gap where nothing I can really do. Uh, breaking into the dog leg here, um, again, he shifts his, his whole body in, and we do make slight contact with his car, so we, we lose a bit of momentum that way as well. And now the gap's just a little bit too big here to be able to do anything into the second to last corner. And yeah, it feels a bit like heat free all over again here. Uh, thinking right well I've got sod all time left there's only like a minute and a bit left on the board if that um, what can we do uh, and, and you know we have the, the pressure of Axel behind as well um, you know there's absolutely no opportunity into this left hander here Harrison's driving you know the right line which I would take anyway if you drive that line there's no way you're going to get up the inside and again he just leaves us that little bit here, so it's just too late to be able to do anything into a braking zone. Could have gone for a massive dive bomb, but not really feasible. A bit risky, especially when I needed the points, high enough points anyway. I mean, it is a top three breakaway right now um, with Harrison, myself, and Axel. 
Uh, it's quite a few seconds actually on, on everyone else behind. Um, but we are heading into the last lap now, and I'm right now in this moment I'm thinking, I've lost this race. I've been able to lead all of it, but at the end here, you know, trail break too hard and we lose a spot, even though I kind of thought, you know, I think Harrison said to me after this race, he was catching me a lot coming out of that dog leg, so would I have been able to have defended anyway? I think he would have eventually been able to find a way, uh, you know, but I made the error initially. But on the last lap, can we do anything here? Not really. We're going to try again, get as close as we can on the break, and we're very strong through this first section and the second section. We catch Harrison a bit, but then he just gaps us a little bit here. And it's too little too late. I knew that it was a done deal by this point. Um, we're just not close enough to try anything in the last corner either. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Harrison very much takes a victory, a very deserved victory, his first victory in, in sprints as well. Uh, so well done to Harrison, fully deserved, drove a cleaner race, a smarter race than me there. Uh, so well done to him. Um, but it was still a good day for us, you know, it was a great day in Risseton under the sunshine. I uh, had my dad watching me as well. Uh, she doesn't always get to see my races, so that was quite nice as well. Uh, but we had a good day and thank you very much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.